Are we back with Elden Ring or what? Of course we are. Welcome to part three, everyone. Where we're going to be uh, going into, what is it? This is like Grove Street Caves or whatever it's called. Something akin to that. Uh, we're gonna... Yeah, how about we stealth past the doggos right here? They're wolves, but whatever. And yeah, take a look at our second dungeon. I've managed to get online once again, which is handy to read uh, insightful messages such as that. For now, I don't know if I'm going to continue playing online. The reason is, like, obviously you miss out on the online mechanics, but I'm going to be honest with you. The invasion part is the one where I'm thinking or like I have doubts. I'm probably never going to summon like actual players to help me because it ain't what these playthroughs are about. This is going to be a boss straight up. Let's go. Uh, and I'm afraid that... I'm afraid that if I go off, I mean go online, okay, I miss out on the actual NPCs. Like the NPC invaders and summons. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This better give me that motherfucking bell. Uh, that allows me to summon or some shit. <laughs> God, it's... That's such a fake out. That is such a fake out. Okay, big freak out. Big freak out. One of the things we gotta get used to is that we are very mobile, like we're Sekiro mobile in this game, and that's something like that takes a little bit getting, a little bit of getting used to. Um, and we have like bloodborne levels of stamina, so I really gotta like get into the mindset of having that. I do wonder, yeah, that, I mean, obviously my shield is shit, so we gotta be careful. Oh, fuck. This is not a, this is not a difficult boss. I'd say this is easier than the Earth Tree Guard or whatever it's called, the, pre the one we previously encountered. That's such a gale attack too, isn't it? Yeah, eat shit, bitch. Easy. Easiest thing I've ever done. Flame Drake Talisman. Is that a shield? Looks like a shield to me. Is that it for this dungeon? I gotta assume there is like that other path with the wolves. Which I am gonna check out. Obviously, I'm gonna go back to the start here, rest up. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're gonna take a look there. Just give us one second. It is not a shield. Okay. Then what the hell did I just pick up? Let me just take a look. It's not a crafting thing. Oh! Boosts fire dam damage negation. Oh, I, I know what this is. It's this. This is like a ring, isn't it? Except, I don't think there are actual rings in this game, just talismans. Oh, by the way, I had to look this up. Apparently, yeah, that's how you do your pouch. Cool. Uh, no, don't do that. We are going to switch to the horse ring. Excellent. And then if I do this... Yeah, if I could summon the horse here, obviously can't do that in the cave, I'd be able to. Nice, 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 nice. I, I legit had to look that up because I was like, what the fuck? Uh, if we pass time, is that how we... Or is that enough to restore our flasks? That is enough, okay, cool. So we're going to take a look at this 
second part of the cave. And let's see if there's anything interesting down here. What the hell? Uh that what the hell was that, bro? I'm out of arrows. Where the shit did the first two arrows go? Oh, that would have been so cool. Get him in the air. Uh oh, okay. I did talk about how dogs seem to be pushovers in this game. I wouldn't want to be proven wrong. Cracked pot. Man, the only thing is, it's like really difficult, well, not really difficult, but it's a little bit difficult to tell the messages and the items apart. The other games had better visual indicators for that in the sense that the messages were orange and the items were white. I mean, there is a difference, it's just, you know what I mean. Sorry, Wolfos. I know you're just trying to make it in the harsh world of Elden Ring, but we gotta do some minecrafting here, here, and you're in the way. And is that it? <laughs> that message there is pretty good. I think th I think that's legit. It. Uh, I'll, I'll need to look up what this golden rune is. Uh, yeah, I think we can piece out of here. Oh, okay. It's... you gain runes. Excellent. It's like the soul shards. Or soul fragments or whatever. Just souls, I should say. Okay, let's see if this works. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, listen, I need to like figure out the controls here. I'm assuming Yeah, you can run with the horse. I'm just gonna call it the horse. Yeah, you can dash, you can jump. He has a double jump, which the fact that there is such a thing as a double jump in a Souls game is pretty crazy in its own right. I almost wanna I almost wanna try out the the big guy again now that I have the now that I have the horse because I feel like that is a horse combat boss so probably it's smart to rest up here and then we can like get going and try him talk to Melina oh you can t what happens if you just talk to her See if anything interesting happens. Lore, Vati, where are you when I need you? Interesting. So we can get one uh, level, which probably means I'm gonna get HP. I'm hungry for that HP. Thanks, Melina. What about you? Do you have anything to sell? He do have arrows. Yeah, I'm 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 going to I'm going to spend the runes. Arrows look they look really s like stupidly useful. So, I'm going to I'm going to do it. And can we can we level up? Smithing. Oh, I do. I can do it. I just don't have the souls. Hold on. One sec. Is that gonna give me enough? 
It gives me 400. I think that should be enough. Yes, bruh. I have a level one weapon. Cool, cool, cool. I mean, a plus one weapon. I feel a lot more confident taking on anyone now. So let's go, bitch. Yeah, not so tough now, are you? I have a horse too, that can <laughs> jump over your head. Yeah, bitch. My horse is faster than your horse. Ha! I'm professional horse combat master. You don't know how difficult this shit is to aim. Uh, I'm going for the hit and run type tactic here. I think that's basically what we need to do. Oh, I'm fucking out of stamina, that's why. Wait a motherfucker, it takes... Okay, I'm gonna be real with you here, boys. I think this, the horse should have its own stamina bar. Whoop! <laughs> yeah, buff up all you want, bitch. Ain't gonna help. Uh-oh. <laughs> can we heal? Yeah, you can heal on the horse. Wait! The horse has his own HP bar? I thought the horse was invulnerable. Oh shit. That does a lot of damage. Ah oh, shit. This is quickly falling apart, uh, to put it lightly. I'm gonna double chug. He can jump as well. I mean, I can keep going like this. It's gonna take forever to kill him, but... The horse doesn't, like, get tired or anything, does it? Does he have some, like, special... Hold on a second. I get it! Okay, I get it, I get it. So... Okay, I, I straight up didn't know this, that the... If you press L2, you attack on the other side. That is actually really good knowledge. God, that R2 doesn't work at all. Listen, we might be here again, we might be here forever, but... This is a semi-safe tactic. Am I being a total bitch? Hell yeah. Did he just fall off? I thought he did. And I'm out of Estes, aren't I? Yeah, that attack with the R2 is a little bit too slow. You're definitely meant to do this with the horse, right? Like... <laughs> okay. Good thing I rested at that... thingy. You may, strange... person in a witch's hat. What up? You look like something from Mass Effect. I don't tell of a tarnished hurtling about atop a spectral steed. And upon looking into the matter, the talk I surmise is of thee. Of the course. Possessed of a power, no? To call forth a spectral steed named Torrent. I can call him. As I had hoped, I'll 
was entrusted this for thee by Torrent's former master. Spirit. This is it. This is what we need. I can do it now. Yes. This is gonna make things dope. Now it is thine to do with as thou wishest. I'm gonna do as thou wishest. She's really cool looking. That is so cool. That is such a cool visual. That tree in the background. Oh, dope. She just dematerialized. Uh, that is... Okay. We gotta do this. Noble Sorcerer. Okay. I'm assuming we gotta have it equipped. Really weird. I can't do it. This is... You can't do it everywhere. Okay. I got you, game. I got you. I had a feeling that was probably what was causing the issue. Good thing I figured it out. I, I'm gonna have to like try it, don't I? Let's see how useful... I heard these guys are like not mega useful, but... They can help, I assume. Ha! <laughs> Nine damage? Bro. You are ass. I mean, I... They pretty much gotta be weak, right? Because otherwise... You'd just be able to clear the whole game without with these guys. Whoa! I was wondering what that attack was going to do. My little buddy's still alive. This guy just has so much HP. Or very high defense. Is he dead? My buddy? No, he's still... He's still kicking. Unbelievable. Little sorcerer, you've made a good first impression. I'm not gonna lie. God, this guy's gonna take fucking forever. Okay, don't... I don't know what happens if the horse dies. I'm assuming you can't use him for a period of time. Hopefully it's not like you have to heal him somehow for like souls, because I can definitely see a FromSoft game pulling some shit like that. But again, just to reiterate, how fucking cool is this? This is so <laughs> unbelievably awesome. <laughs> That I'm. Oh, your Estus does heal him. Too. So you really gotta bait it. Is he doing a freak out? Yes, he is. He's halfway dead. This is where I screwed up. Not screwed up, but this is where I died the last time as well. Destructible environments. Again, this is... Coming from... Classic Souls. This is so fucking crazy, isn't it? That I'm literally on horseback, 
fighting a boss in an open world with destructible environments. That is the craziest shit. <gasps> I bled him. That's one thing I was wondering. Okay. It looks like bleed is pretty fucking useful in this game as well. Fuck, it's gonna like dawn on us. By the time we finish with this guy. I completely whiffed all my attacks there. Okay, last heal. He doesn't have a lot left. Fuck, no. What? Come on, Mr. Sketchhead. He's dead. That is the most difficult thing I've done in this game so far. That was insane. I I got I gotta check it. Fourteen HP, holy shit! I did it with fourteen. I'm so happy right now. This is, the the this is so cool. I'm so happy. That gave us 3,000 souls. Man, awesome. That was really awesome. It feels so good. No other game series, except all the Souls clones, can capture the, the satisfaction of doing something like this. It's just crazy. Oh, fuck. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna mess up the controls here. What I wanted to do is... That island is bugging me. That island looks to me like... Somewhere you could go. But this is, this is too fucking high, this cliff. It does look like... It does look like you can go down somewhere. Hey, what up? Yeah, I'm not gonna... I'm gonna live and let live. That's gonna be my, my policy right there. These skulls, man, are... Like, what the hell? Where am I? What the hell is that? This game is insane. Is this the, the Death Stranding? Is that what those things are? Beached things? Man, I didn't go and back and finish Death Stranding. I never did. A turtle? Is that one of those Galapagos sex turtles? I think it might be. What up, bros? Yeah, the horse reigns supreme. Doesn't it? Oh, by the way, I didn't mention this, but... Shout out to all of you guys. Thank you for all the support in the previous episodes. Uh, you guys are showing a lot of love. Thank you for all the views and all that. I wish an enemy group will replenish your flasks. Yeah. So thanks for all the support again. Uh, I really appreciate it. And I know some of you guys can't watch because you don't want to spoil the game. I 100% fully understand that. Uh, thanks for all the support anyways. <laughs> That's gonna kill me, isn't it? Don't tell me that doesn't look like somewhere you could go. But this, I'm... Nah. No way, right? There's no way. You can't swim in this game, can you? I don't think so.
Oops. Talk about failing at stealth. This is a merchant. What do you need? I don't want any trouble. Nomadic merchant. What do you sell? Neutralizing boluses alleviates poison buildup. Armors cookbook. I'm gonna uh, pick up a couple of these. Uh, broadsword it might be something. Short bow. Iron round shield. It's a little bit better than what I got. Lan Land squirt contains information. Is this like enemy descriptions? Should I go for it? I'm gonna go for it. Okay. No need to be extra friendly, right? This weapon looks crazy, by the way. Weighty halberd forged of gold, wielded by the Order of Three Sentinels, heavily equipped knights. Deals holy damage, a masterfully crafted weapon that lives up to its heft, but is difficult for one of mere human strength to wield. Yeah. Whoa, okay. Is that what the shield does? Ah, oh, damn. So you wait, you can lose your parry? Because this shield doesn't... It just doesn't parry. Oh man, I have a slight feeling that I'm like wearing off of the main path quite a lot here. Um, I feel like I have most of the sort of core gameplay elements. Is that a red summon? No, that's a bloodstain. What is that? Oh, that's the thing the horse, because the horse can jump up, can't it? Golden pickled f skellies. I knew something like that was gonna happen. Uh, I, again, that's the thing that horse can jump on. I feel like horse combat is just. This is like horse superiority. Oh, are they respawning skeletons? Yes, they are. Okay, let me fight them. See if there's a way to kill them. Yes, there is. You need to attack them when they're dead. Like that. Okay. So what did we pick up? Boost rune acquisition for a time. Interesting. Four toed foot of a fowl. It's, it's a sentence for you. Try saying that three times in a row quickly. Four toed foot of a fowl. Pickled in a golden medicinal solution. Craftable item. Excellent. I'm gonna try it. While on jump, while on horseback, blah blah blah. Yeah, you don't take damage, right, as well if you jump. Holy shit, that's awesome. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> Hit a replay on that, Mr. Sketchhead. <sighs> embarrassing. That was mega embarrassing. See, what I'm wondering... Fuck! Ah. Uh. I'll take it, game. I'll, I, I, I will fully take that. I thought the horse takes fall damage. Okay, so you do you do need to aim where you're going. That is pretty cool. Holy shit! Naisu. Naisu, Naisu. I wonder what this guy has to say now that we actually have a maiden. Is he still roasting us? He don't say nothing, do he? He knows. He knows we now have a master or like a maiden or whatever. So 
He can stop roasting us now. See, I'm guessing there is not much left to do but move forward, really. I'm not sure. God, it's so tempting to explore other places. One of the things I'm missing is the, the map, really. I feel like I should have a map at this point, shouldn't I? I don't know, man. That's looking slightly suspicious to me. Because I do know that the map things, they look like little towers. And fuck, not, that's not what I wanted to do. And that sure as hell looks like a little tower to me. It's not like a tower, like a little monument. I'll give that a shot, just to take a look at it. And then, if it's not that, I'm just going to move on. map found told you it's like metroid man uh, yeah if you're wondering how i know all of this i know i said i'm staying away from much as much elden ring content as possible but i did watch vati put out this uh beginner's guide to elden ring i did watch that like most of the stuff there is very basic but info such as this was pretty useful new map has been found limgrave west now we're cooking. That's the Stormfoot cat Catacombs. Groveside Cave. There's one area we haven't checked out yet. The Coastal Cave. This island, man, is bugging me. Because don't tell me. Like, it's on the map, too. You gotta be able to get there somehow. So basically, we haven't explored this swamp area. There looks to be something there. Uh, and of course the other side of the coast and down here there's a tower here now the question is should we just move on because the path is taking us this way or should we go in the opposite direction I'm gonna level up before that that's one level though Nah, now nah, I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna explore the other side. Specifically, I'm gonna check out what the hell this is. Yeah, okay. Sides of Grace, and then you can warp between these, can't you? Excellent. You ain't even gonna be able to catch me, boys. I do wonder, with this game being open world, how like large the aggro range of enemies is. There's another thing here. Listen, I'm hitting all of these up, because why not, basically. Really no reason not to. There's another boy there. Horse boy. Hopefully that's not a boss. Nah, it's just another enemy. So I should have checked where you can lock on to him. I, th I thought it was an NPC at first. You can't beat my horse. My horse has a name. Assume he's, his horse has a name too. God, this is so insane. This horse combat got me fucked up. I'm not gonna be... Like, beating around the bush here. Sorry, boys. I killed this horse. I'm such a dick. Um. Oh. What is this? It's a little 
use bird's eye telescope. You can use the bird's eye telescope found in various areas to get a bird's eye view of the terrain in the direction that the telescope is facing. Holy shit. And they're just showing off with this, aren't they? This is pretty cool. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Oh, look at that. That's where we're going, aren't we? And then it looks like there's like multiple versions of the same tree, like all over the place. So that's where we need to go. And it sort of like leads naturally up there. Uh, there's so much to do in this game. Swamp area. I'm pretty sure there's something to do in the swamp area. I'm gonna go, yeah, I'm gonna go explore a little bit this way. And then we'll see what we can find. I've been going for a pretty long time now. Um, I know it might seem anticlimactic that the ending of this episode is just us riding out into the sunset. But sometimes shit is just gonna be like that. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to slowly start wrapping up this episode of Elden Ring right here. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. That dude is chasing me straight up. Okay, so the answer to the aggro range question is pretty long. Ouch. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Did I? I don't even know how far I got into my little outro. If you did enjoy this episode of Elden Ring, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. As always, turn on post notifications. Again, I really appreciate all of you guys for watching and the support. Even if you don't want to watch too much because you don't want to spoil this game. Uh, thank you. Again, all I can say is thank you. Peace out, everyone. And see you next time.